Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. In today's tutorial, we're making a hooded shrug. By now, y'all should already know my love for shrugs, and I'm happy to report that this affair continues. This time in the shape of a hooded shrug using the basket weave stitch, which is definitely needed where I'm at because while shrugs can be cute, sometimes can be a little chilly, so fret not, this one is a thick boy to keep you warm and toasty. Also, there's bell sleeves because bell sleeves are back, baby. Speaking of, if you're looking to bring back more bells or other fashion trends you want to hop on, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of modern crochet tutorials and patterns dropping twice weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado... For this project, any category of 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 700 grams of yarn, and that's 1,600 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5 and 5.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you prefer wireless or wired headphones. I basically lived in my wired headphones. Details of the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project, and the be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this shrug started, we're all going to start by grabbing our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that is in multiples of 3 that reaches from the top of our shoulder down to about mid breast. And I have already measured mine out. I need roughly 9 inches or 23 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain 36. We have just finished up our chain. The next thing we're going to do is just an additional chain. That chain will count as our foundation chain. Then from here we're going to block off that last chain and chain 2. That chain 2 does not count as a stitch, so that's our turning chain. Then from here, one half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, inserting our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. We're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do one more. Yarn over, into that next chain, pull through, pull through all three. Continue with one half double crochet into every chain. We are back. Our row one is complete. Now we're going to get started on row two, which is going to be our first basket weave row. So we're all going to start with a chain two and flip. So what we're all going to do from here is sets of three front posts and then three back post double crochets towards the end of the row. So we're all going to start with three front post double crochets. So start with a yarn over. We're all going to insert our hook into the second half double crochet from our row one. We're not going to be inserting it into that first half double crochet because we want this edge to be nice and clean. So into that next half double crochet, we're going to bring our hook down and underneath the body of that half double crochet and through the other side. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through. When we have these three loops on our hook, now we're going to double crochet per usual. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over. Underneath the body of that following half double crochet, we're going to bring our hook down, underneath, and through the other side, yarn over, and pull through. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Pull through two. Now they are worked in sets of three, so we have one more left to do. Yarn over, into that next stitch, bring our hook underneath the body, and through the other side. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have our first set of three front post double crochets. Now we're going to be doing three back post double crochets. 
So to get that started, yarn over. We're now going to bring our hook down underneath our work and then over the body of that next half double crochet. So underneath our work, in through that next gap, and then over the body of that next half double crochet and through the other side. Then from here, pull through, and then this is gonna be a double crochet per usual, so pull through two, pull through two. And that is our first back post double crochet. Doing that again, we're gonna yarn over. Bring our hook underneath our work, in through that next gap, and over the body of that next half double crochet through the other side. Then pull through, pull through two, pull through two. This is worked in sets of three again, so I have one more back post double crochet to do, so yarn over. Bring our hook down over the body of that next half double crochet and through the other side. Then pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now so far we should all have three front posts and three back post double crochets. We're gonna continue this till you're to the end of the row, so let's do this again. Starting with our three front post double crochets, yarn over. Finding that body of the next available half double crochet. Bring your hook down, underneath and through the other side with one front post double, another front post double into that next stitch, so yarn over, underneath the body through the other side with a second front post double, then one more, yarn over, underneath the body through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now that is our next set of three front post double crochets. Now let's do our back posts, so yarn over. Bring your hook down, underneath the body, and through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. We have two more left to do, so yarn over. Underneath our work, over the body of that next half double crochet, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and one more to complete the set of three. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're just gonna continue to alternate between three front posts and three back post double crochets, making our way all the way down. And I'll meet you back when we have three stitches left. So we are back. I've made my way all the way down with my row one, leaving the last three stitches. Now from here, just to close off the row, we're all going to do a decrease of three half double crochets. Starting with the yarn over, we're gonna insert our hook into that third to last stitch, pull through, into that second to last stitch, pull through, into that last stitch, pull through for five loops on our hook, then just yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And now our row two is complete. Now let's get started on our row three. So what we're going to do is chain two and flip. Now when it comes to doing our basket weave stitch, every odd number row is going to extend our previous row stitches. So once we flip our work, if our first set of stitches look like three back posts, like how mine do, we are going to be doing three back posts. But if yours look like three front posts, that's completely fine as well, but you will be doing three front posts. And we're also only going to be decreasing at the end of every even number row. So from here, we're just going to insert our hook underneath that first post stitch from our previous row. So we are skipping over that first decrease stitch. So like I said, my first three stitches are gonna be three back posts, so yarn over. Bring our hook down underneath our work. Making sure we're not working into that decrease, we're gonna find the first post stitch from our previous row. And I'm going to do my first back post double crochet. And they're still worked in sets of three, so I will be doing two more back post double crochets. There's my second, here's my third. And that's basically it. From here, we're gonna to continue to extend our previous row stitches till we reach the end of the row. So just do this next one. My next set of stitches look like three front posts, so I will be doing three front posts, but if yours look like three back, you guys will be doing three back. And that's it. We're gonna continue on with our post stitches till we reach the end of the row. We are back and our row three is nearly finished. We made our way all the way down with our sets of stitches. And now what we're gonna do to close off this row is just put one half double crochet into that last stitch. So all we're gonna do is yarn over into the last stitch from our previous row, insert with a half double crochet, and that is there to help secure everything down. 
Now from here, we're going to do our following basket we wrote. So chain two and flip. So when it comes to doing any even number row for our basket weave stitches, our even number row is now going to be the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. So getting that started, we're all gonna yarn over. Mine look like three back post double crochets. My first three stitches look like three front post double crochets. So I will now be doing a back post, but if your first three stitches look like three back posts, you will be doing three front posts. So to do my three back posts, I'm going to bring my hook down underneath my work, through the other side, so that is a regular back post double. Remember they are worked in sets of three, so here is my second, and here is my third. And now from here, my following set of stitches look like three back posts, so now I will be doing three front posts. We're gonna continue to do the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like, making our way down till we all have three stitches left. We are back. We have made our way all the way down with our row four, leaving the last three stitches. Now we're gonna close off the row with a decrease of three half doubles. So what we're gonna do is yarn over, insert our hook into that third to last, pull through. Second to last, pull through. Last, pull through for five loops on our hook. Then yarn over, pull through all five of those loops. Now our row four is complete. So let's just get started on our row five, so chain two and flip. Now like I said in, now like I said in one of our previous clips, every odd number row is just going to extend our previous row stitches. So just like how we did our previous odd number row, we're gonna take a look at our stitches. Mine looks like three back post double crochets, so I will now be doing three back post. If yours look like three front posts, that's fine as well. So start with the yarn over. Making sure that we are skipping over that first stitch or our decrease from our previous row, I'm going to do my first post stitch, and that's basically it. Like I said, every odd number row doesn't have any increases or decreases, so just continue to extend our previous row stitches to reach the end of the row. Alrighty, we are back. We are nearly finished with our first five rows. Now at the end of every odd number row, we are always going to half double crochet into the last stitch. So just yarn over into the last stitch from our previous row with one half double crochet to make sure that everything is secured down. And that's it. All we're going to do from here is continue to repeat rows two through five until this decrease point that we have right here reaches right above our breast. And when we're measuring this up to ourselves, we wanna make sure that this first row lays right at mid underarm. And all we're going to do is once we have this portion of our shoulder completed, I'll meet you back after an even numbered row or along the bottom, and then we can finish up our shoulder and then the rest of our front panel from there. All right, we are back. The first portion of my shoulder is complete. Now I have a total of eight rows. My width is roughly two and a half inches or six centimeters. Now what we're going to do from here is more of our basket we rows, but now without any increases or decreases, and this is going to fill in the rest of our shoulder portion. So just to get started on our falling row, we're all going to chain two and flip. Now, even though we aren't doing any increases or decreases, same rules apply. So our falling row that we're about to get started on is an odd number row. All we're going to do is extend our previous row stitches. So we're gonna find that first stitch. So we're all gonna find that first set of stitches. Mine look like three back posts, so I will be doing three back posts, but if yours look like three front, you will be doing three front. All I'm gonna do is yarn over, inserting our hook underneath that first post stitch with my first post stitch, which is, like I said, a back post. And I'm going to do my set of three back post double crochets. And from here, I'm gonna to continue to extend my previous row stitches till we reach the end of the row and make sure that we're closing off the row with one half double crochet into that last stitch. We are back. Our first non-decrease row for our shoulder is complete. Now from here, we're just gonna continue on with our same basket weave stitches with no increases and no decreases. So just as a refresher, our falling row is going to be an even number row now. So just to talk you guys through that, chain two and flip. And since it's an even number row, we are now gonna be doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like, making our way all the way down, making sure that we close off our row with a half double crochet. Now we always need to make sure that we're closing off our row with a half double crochet just to make sure that it's all secured down. Then it's just going to be a repeat of our two previous rows. 
until we have a portion that can now reach from mid underarm over to the base of our neck. Then I'll meet you guys back right after an even number row. So along the bottom so we can get started on the neckline. We are back. The entirety of our shoulder is complete. Now I have a total of 16 rows. My width is roughly five inches or 13 centimeters. And now we're gonna get started with our neckline. So first things first, we're all gonna wanna put this up to ourselves and insert our stitch marker into any stitch that is in multiples of three plus an additional two stitches right where the base of our neck is. So I've inserted my stitch marker into the 11th stitch from the top, that's roughly two and a half inches or six centimeters. So I originally needed nine stitches from the top plus an additional two, 10, 11, and inserted my stitch marker into there. Now from here, we're going to do more of our basket we rows with no increases and no decreases working our way across our chest. So let's just get started on the first row together. Let's all start with a chain two and flip. Now, since this is an odd number row, we're going to be extending our previous row stitches. So finding that first set of stitches for me, it looks like three back posts. So I will now be doing three back post double crochets. From here, continue to extend our previous row stitches until we reach our stitch marker. So we made our way down with our first neckline row. We have now reached our stitch marker. Now all we're gonna do to close off the row is don't forget to put one half double crochet into that last stitch. And that last stitch is the stitch that is right before our stitch marker stitch. Now from here, we're gonna continue to do our same basket we rows working our way across our chest. We aren't gonna have any increases or decreases. So just continue on with these rows until this reaches the other side of the base of our neck and I'll meet you guys back along the top so we can work straight into the shoulder from there. Alrighty, so we are back. We have just finished up the neckline portion. Now I have a total of 31 rows. My width is roughly 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters. Now from here, we're going to do our second shoulder portion. So what we're all going to need to do, since we all should have ended along the top, is start by making a chain for the same amount of stitches that we skipped when we got started on the neckline. So for those of you that have my numbers, I skipped a total of 11 stitches on this side. So from here, I made a chain 11. Now we're gonna get started on our first shoulder row. So chain two and flip. Now that chain two doesn't count as a stitch. And from here, we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into every chain. So into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, insert with our first half double crochet and what we're all going to do, like I said, is put one half double crochet into every chain plus into that first stitch that we have into the body. So as an example, I made a chain 11 plus my first half double crochet into my body. I'm going to meet you back when I have a total of 12 half double crochets completed. All right, so we are back. We've just put one half double crochet into every chain plus one half double crochet into that first stitch into the body. And now from here, since this is an even number row, we're just gonna be doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. So as an example, mine looks like three front posts. I will now be doing three back posts. So yarn over, inserting our hook underneath the first post stitch in this set. Here is my first post stitch, which is a back post. And that's it. We're gonna to continue to do the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like till we reach the end of the row, making sure that we close off the row with one half double crochet into that last stitch. And then I will meet you back. So we are back. We made our way all the way down with our first shoulder row for this side of our front panel. Now from here, all we're going to do is the same basket weave rows that we've been doing this entire time. So chain two, flip our work. And since this is now an odd number row, we're going to extend our previous row stitches. Now, once we reach the half double crochet portion, all that's going to be is just continuing on alternating between our sets till we reach the end of the row and closing off the row with a half double crochet. I will meet you back at the end of our second shoulder row just to show you guys how we're going to be doing our following row. I am back. My second shoulder row is completed. Now the basket weave rows are going to be done exactly the same as before, but the only tip that I have for doing this third row is that we need to make sure that this is an even numbered row. Now if we just look at it from this chain portion, it looks like we should be extending our previous row stitches, but if we look at it from the main body portion, we will be reminded that it is an even number row. So just as a reminder, our third shoulder row, we will be doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. And then from there, we're just gonna continue on per usual. 
I'll meet you back once we have this shoulder portion completed, and then I'll meet you back to finish up the rest of the shoulder together. We are back. Our second shoulder portion is nearly complete. We now just need to finish up with the increased portion so that it can mirror this decreased portion that we have over here. So I now have a total of 39 rows. My width is roughly 13 inches or 33 centimeters. Now from here, we all should have ended along the top. So what we're all going to do from here is our following basket weave row the same exact way that we normally would. And we're gonna make our way all the way down until we all have one stitch left. And then I'll meet you back so we can do our increase together. Alrighty, so we are back. We have just made our way all the way down and now we're going to do our first increase row. So how this is going to work, we've just finished up our last set of three post stitches. Now all we're gonna do is an increase of four half double crochets. So how we're gonna do that is yarn over into the last stitch from our previous row. We're gonna insert with one, same last stitch with two, same last stitch with three, same last stitch with four, half double crochets. And now that this first increase row is complete, we can now chain two, flip our work to do the following row. So since we just finished up an even number row, our following row is going to be our odd number row. So basically extending our previous row stitches, but we are not gonna be doing any increases or decreases because for this first side, we only decreased into every other row. So how we're gonna get started is working into our increase that we just finished up. So how we're going to figure out which set of post stitches we're going to do into the increase that we just did is taking a look at that following set of post stitches that we have. Mine look like three back post double crochets. Since this is an odd number row, I will have to do three back post double crochets into that set. So I'm gonna start with three front posts because remember it needs to alternate every three stitches. Now, if yours looks like three front posts, that is completely fine as well. You will be getting started with three back posts. But either way, just to know where to put our post stitches into our increase, we're all going to yarn over. Like I said, I'm gonna start with three front posts. We're all gonna insert our hook into that second half double crochet from our increase. We wanna make sure that we're not inserting our hook into that edge stitch because we want our edges to be clean. So just underneath the body of that second half double crochet, going to insert our hook and do our first post stitch into that next stitch with my following post stitch and then into that last half double crochet with my last post stitch now from here we continue on per usual so my following set of stitches like I said look like three back posts so to extend it I will be doing three back post double crochets and from here, all we're gonna do is continue to extend our previous row stitches, making sure that we close off the row with a half double crochet. I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Our second shoulder row for the increase portion of our shoulder is now complete. Now I'm just gonna do the following row with you guys one more time, just to make sure we all have it down. So from where we're at, chain two, flip our work, and since our following row is an even number row, we're going to be doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like, making our way all the way down, leaving the last stitch. So our third shoulder row for this increase portion is nearly finished. We should all have one stitch left. And now we're all going to do an increase of four half double crochets into that last stitch. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And to get started on the following row, chain two and flip. Now getting started on the following row, which is an odd number row, we are going to be extending our previous row stitches. So to get that started, we're going to look at our following set of post stitches. Now my first three set of stitches look like three back post double crochets. Now to make sure that we get three back post double crochets on top of these back post double crochets, I'm gonna start off with three front post double crochets into my increase. So to get that started, we are always going to skip that edge stitch because we want the edges to be clean and I'm gonna start with three front post double crochets, but if you have to start with three back post double crochets, that is completely fine as well. And now that my three front posts are completed, my next three stitches are three back posts, so I'm just gonna to continue to extend our previous row stitches. And from here, it's going to be a repeat of our basket weave rows with our increases at the end of every even number row until we have the same amount of rows as the decrease portion of our shoulder that we have over here. Once we have the same amount of rows, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back to get started on the back panel. 
Alrighty, we are back. The entirety of my front panel is complete. Now we should have all done a chain up of one and cut right after that last row. And now we can get started on the back panel. But right before we do that, I'm going to let you guys know my total width is roughly 15 and a half inches or 39 centimeters unstretched. Now getting started on the back panel, it's going to be our basket weave rows with absolutely no increases, no decreases, no cutouts. So we're all going to start by making a chain for the same amount of chains that we made for this front panel. And then I will meet you guys back just to talk you guys through how we're going to be doing the rest of our back panel. Now I already have the entirety of my back panel completed, so I'm just going to be doing a small sample size with you. But once we have the entirety of our chain, and as a quick tip, we do want to make sure that we're adding that extra foundation chain as well. So for those of you that have my numbers, I made a total chain of 37. So for my back panel, I made 37. <laughs> Now we're gonna do a half double crochet row. So block off that last chain, chain two, and put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that our row one is complete, we're all going to chain two, flip our work, and just like how we did for the front panel, we're gonna start with three front post double crochets. So yarn over. Skipping that first stitch from our previous row because we want the edges to be clean, insert your hook into that second half double crochet, starting with one, front post double crochet, then we're going to do a set of three front post double crochets, three back post double crochets to reach the end of the row. Now that we've made our way all the way down with our row two, since we're not doing any increases or decreases for the back panel, at the end of every row we're just going to be closing off the row with one half double crochet. And from here, same rules apply as the front panel. Every odd number row is going to extend our previous row stitches. Every even number row is going to be the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. Then from here, we're just going to continue to repeat our basket weave rows until we have the same amount of total rows for the front panel. Then once we have the same total amount of rows, I will meet you guys back so we can seam everything together. So we are back. Once we have finished up both our front and our back panel, we're now going to seam the shoulders together. So we're all going to start by placing our front panel on top of our back panel, then inserting our hook into the top corner stitch of both the front and the back. Then insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Then all we're going to do is a single crochet row working in through both the front and the back panel at the same time. And we are going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So getting that started together, we're all going to start by finding that first side row. This is mine right here. I'm going to find that top loop, insert into the front panel, find the same top loop within the back panel, insert, and then we're going to single crochet once. Now into our next side row, which this one is my next side row within the front panel, I'm going to insert my hook in through there. Finding the next side row within the back panel, this one's mine right here, then we're going to single crochet twice. So here's my first single crochet and then into the same top loops within the front and back panel, insert with a second single crochet. Now the second one should be a little bit easier since everything is already gathered. That's it, we're gonna continue doing this until we don't have any more side rows left to work into within the front panel. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut, repeat on the other side, and then I'll meet you back to seam up our sides. We are back. So now that our shoulder is all seamed up, the next thing we're going to do is seam up our sides. So first things first, we're all going to want to try on our piece and insert our stitch marker into any stitch that is in multiples of three from the top, roughly one inch underneath your underarm. Now, as a really quick sizing tip, we want to ensure that the sleeve isn't too wide because it may buckle at the elbow once we start to do our bell sleeve, but do make sure that it is comfortable once when everything is on. So I have actually inserted my stitch marker into the 24th stitch from the top. That's roughly six inches or 15 centimeters. Now from here, we're going to get started on our side seam. So making sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, meaning the seam that we had for the shoulders is still along the outside, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. We are going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And all we're gonna do is a single crochet seam working in through both the front and the back panel. So starting with that first stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, first stitch into the back panel, insert, and we're gonna single crochet everything together. Again, next stitch into the front, next stitch into the back, and single crochet, and that's it. 
We're going to continue doing this until we reach our stitch marker. Once when we do, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat on the other side. All right, so now that everything is all seamed up, we're ready to get started on our sleeve. So first things first, we're all gonna make sure that our work is now flipped right side out, meaning all of our seams that we just did is now along the inside. Then we're gonna insert our hook into the stitch that we have that's nearest to our side seam, and we're gonna get started on our first row. So from where we're at, we're all gonna chain two. So from where we're at, we're all gonna chain two. And we're all gonna start with a half double crochet row. So yarn over into the top of that first available stitch with one half double crochet into the next with another half double crochet and that's pretty much it for the section continue with one half double crochet into every stitch making our way all the way around and then i'll meet you back to show you how we're going to connect it all right so we are back we have made our way all the way around with our half double crochet row and now we're going to connect it together so what we're going to do is start by counting up the first two chains that we made when we started this row there's one there's two into that second chain we're going to insert with a slip stitch and that's it from here we're just going to do our basket weave rows the same way that we've been doing because for this portion of our basket weave we aren't going to be doing any increases or decreases so just to get that started after we've slip stitched into that second chain we're all going to chain two and flip and per usual we're going to get started with three front post double crochets so finding the first half double crochet from our previous row not that chain two because remember that chain two doesn't actually count as a stitch we're going to start with our first front post double crochet and just like before we're going to continue until we have a total of three front post doubles then after that we're going to be doing three back post doubles and then continue to alternate making our way all the way around and slip stitching into that second chain that we made when we got started on this row then from here we're going to continue on with our basket weave rows so as a refresher, every even number row is going to be the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. And then every odd number row is just going to extend it. We're going to continue to repeat these rows until we have a sleeve portion that reaches the top of our elbow. And I'll meet you guys back right when we're about to get started on a repeat of our row two. So the row that we just started off together, and then I'll show you how we're going to do our bell. So we are back. The first half of our sleeve is complete. Now I have a total of 25 rows. This width is roughly eight inches or 20 centimeters. So what we're gonna do to get started on our first increase row is first switch out our hook to our five and a half millimeter hook just to get our bell sleeve to be a little bit more flowy. Then we are also going to be inserting a stitch marker into our two middle stitches that we have. Now for this section, no matter what size we're making, we should all have a total of two middle stitches. So go ahead and insert your stitch markers into there. Now we're going to get started on our first increase row. So right after we have slip stitched into that chain space, we're all going to chain two and flip. So all we're going to do for our increase rows is start with an increase of three half double crochets. So into that stitch that our chain two is in, we're all going to insert into there with three half double crochets. So there is one, there is two, and then there is three. And from here, we're going to continue on with our row per usual. So since this should be an even number row, we are now going to be doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. So just as a refresher, my first set of stitches look like three back posts. So I will now be doing three front post double crochets. And from here, we're just gonna continue to do the opposite stitches from what our previous row stitches look like until we reach our stitch marker. Now we are back. We have made our way all the way down to our first stitch marker stitch. Our last set of stitches is worked into the set of stitches that's right before. Now what we're going to do into each of our stitch markers is do an increase of three half double crochets. So I'm going to take out my first stitch marker because we don't need it right now. And I'm going to insert into that stitch with three half double crochets. So there is one into that same stitch with two and then into that same stitch with three half double crochets and then another increase of three into that following stitch. So insert with one, same stitch with a second, same stitch with a third half double crochet. And if this increase starts to come to a point like this, that's completely fine because the following row is gonna help even that out. But once when that increase is finished, we're actually going to go back to doing our basket weave rows the same way that we've been doing it. So just into that next available set of stitches the first one may be a little bit tricky to work into because it will be right underneath 
that last increase of three that we did, but we're just going to need to insert our hook underneath there. But we're just going to continue on with doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like, since this is still an even numbered row. So finding that next post stitch, I'm going to do a front post double crochet, but if you guys need to do a back post, that's fine as well. I'm just going to find that first post stitch and insert with my first front post double, because that's what I need to do, and then continue on with the rest of my set of post stitches. And this is what our increase should look like now. And from here, we're going to continue to do the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like to reach the end of the row. We've made our way around. Our first increase row is nearly finished. Now we should have all finished up with our last set of stitches. And now just into that last stitch from our previous row, we're all going to do an increase of three half doubles. So yarn over into that last stitch with one, same last stitch with two, same last stitch with three half double crochets. Now this increase row is complete. Now to close off the row, as per usual, slip stitch into that second chain that we made, and that is it. Now for the increase portion of our bell sleeve, they will be worked in four row repeats. Now the four row repeats will not be exactly the same, it's just gonna be the same idea. So it's going to be our increase row, exactly the same way that we did this first one, then the next three rows are going to be the same basket weave rows that we've been doing this entire time. So every odd number row is going to be extending our previous row stitches, and every even number row is going to be the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. So let's get started on our falling row, which is an odd number row. So from here, we're all going to chain two and flip. So we do want to make sure that we are still extending our previous row stitches. So all we're going to do is just take a look at that first set of post stitches that we have for our previous row. This is my increase, and this is my first set of post stitches, which for me looks like three front posts. So since this looks like three front posts, I will be starting off this row with three back posts into the increase so that I can make sure that I'm doing three front posts into the top of these three front posts since we are working on an odd number row. So just to do this together, like I said, I'm going to be starting with three back posts, but if you need to start with three front, that's fine as well. Just working into the half double crochets from our previous row. One back post double crochet into each of the stitches. Then three front post to extend my stitches. Then from here, we're just going to continue to extend our previous row stitches. We are going to get the following two rows finished up as well. Those aren't gonna have any increases or decreases. And then I'll meet you back so we can do one more increase row together. We are back. We have just finished up the first four rows for our bell sleeve. Our first row was our increase. Our second, third, and fourth row were our regular basket weave rows, no increases and no decreases. Now we're going to do one more increase row together just to make sure we all have it down, but it's all gonna be done pretty much the same way as our first increase row. So first things first, we're all going to want to make sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into our two middle stitches that we have from our hook. Then from here, since we slip stitched into that second chain, we're all going to chain two and flip. Now getting started on our increase row, it's always going to start with an increase of three half double crochets into the same stitch that our chain two is in. So into that same stitch, it may be a little bit tight. Go ahead and insert with three half double crochets. There's my first, there's my second, and there's my third. Now, since every increase row is going to be an even number row, we will be doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. Now, my first set of stitches look like three front posts, so I will now be doing three back post double crochets and continue to do the opposite post stitches until we reach our stitch marker. We've made our way down to our stitch marker stitch. Now into our two middle stitches, we should all always have two middle stitches. We're now gonna put an increase of three half doubles into each. So I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and into that following stitch, insert with three half double crochets. There's one, there's two, there's three. And into that following stitch, another set of three half doubles. There's one, there's two, there's three. Then from here, continue on with our row, doing the opposite from what our previous row stitches look like. So since mine look like three front posts, I will now be doing three back post double crochets until we reach the end. 
and continue to do the opposite from our previous row stitches to reach the end of the row. We are back. We're now at the end of our increased row. So all we're going to do from here is close off the row with an increase of three half double crochets and then slip stitch into that second chain to close off this row. Then our following three rows are going to be the same basket weave rows that we've been doing this entire time with no increases and no decreases. So I'm sure you guys know, but just as a refresher, every odd number row is going to be extending our previous row stitches and every even number row is going to be the opposite stitches. Now from here, we're going to repeat our four rows until we get the total length of the sleeve that we would like. Once we have that completed, do a chain of one cut and then I'll meet you guys back. We are back. I have just finished up the entirety of my sleeve. Now I have a total of 53 rows and my length is just about 18 inches or 46 centimeters. I did do a chain up a one and cut after my last row and go ahead and repeat on the other side. So now that both of our sleeves are completed, we're gonna get started on the neckline. So first things first, we're all gonna have to do a single crochet row. But within the front panel, we're all gonna wanna insert our stitch marker into that middle side row that we have just so we know exactly where the middle is. Once on our stitch marker is into place, then we're going to insert our hook into any one of our side rows along the back panel. So inserting our five millimeter hook into any one of the side rows along the back of the neckline, we're going to do a single crochet row. We're going to pull our yarn through and do a chain up of one to secure. And into every side row that we have, we're all gonna alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So starting with one single crochet, this is my first side row. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with just one single crochet. Into our next side row, we're gonna find that top loop. Insert into there with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there's two, and that's it. Now once we reach the front panel, we are gonna have some regular stitches to work into. So just one single crochet into each of those stitches. Then once we reach the neckline of the front panel, Alternate again between one to two single crochets into every side row. Make your way all the way around and then slip stitch into that chain space. And also be sure to insert your stitch marker into the same middle stitch that it's in right now. All right, so we are back. We have just made our way all the way around with our single crochet row. We did do a chain up of one and cut and now we're gonna get started on our hood. So first things first, we're all going to make sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're going to be inserting our hook into our middle stitch marker stitch within the front panel and we're all going to start with a half double crochet row. So insert your yarn onto your hook. We're going to pull through and start with a chain two. That chain two does not count as a stitch. And from here we're going to make our way all the way around putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over and into the next stitch. Insert with a half double crochet. And that's it. Make your way all the way around until we reach our next stitch marker stitch and then I'll meet you guys back. We are back. Our half double crochet row is complete. Now before we get started on the following row, we just wanna make sure that we're counting out our stitches and make sure that we all have a number of half double crochets that is in multiples of three. Then from here, it's just going to be our basket weave row with no increases and no decreases until this reaches the top of our head. So I will not bore you guys with any of those details you just wanna make sure that once we make our way all the way around and do our last set of post stitches, we're closing off the row with a half double crochet just to make sure that the edges are clean. But go ahead and just repeat our basket weave rows with no increases and no decreases, like I said, until this reaches the top of our head. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam it all together. All right, so we are back. The total height of my hood is complete. I have a total of 34 rows. My height is roughly 13 inches or 33 centimeters. Now we're going to seam it all together. So this seam is going to be the same seam that we did for the sides. I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. We're all gonna make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out so that once we wear it, our seam is going to be along the inside. Then we're just going to place our hood corner to corner. Then we're going to grab the middle part, pull it through, adjust our corners so that they're no longer twisted. And then we're going to do our single crochet seam so we don't have any more stitches left. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. Our hood is complete. And now the last thing we're going to have to do is single crochet along the bottom edge just to make sure that everything's clean. So first things first, we're all going to insert our 
five millimeter hook into any one of our side rows along the bottom of our piece and we're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Once we made our way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain space and then I'll meet you back. So we have made our way all the way around with our first single crochet row. Now we're just going to be doing one back loop single crochet row, then we'll be completed. So right after we have slip stitched into that chain space, we're all going to chain one and making sure we're still working in that same direction that our previous row is working in, one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we made our way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain space, do a chain up one and cut. All right, so our back loop single crochet row along the bottom edge is complete and we are now all done. The last thing we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter, those links are down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all next one, bye!